I'm WCI3 meteorologist Jacob Dickey with an update to your Weather Now video on this Saturday night. Temperatures tonight are heading down into the low 70s out there under a mostly clear sky. We could see a stray shower storm, though that still looks unlikely. And we'll look for a mostly clear to partly cloudy sky. Temperatures into the low 70s, south winds at 5 to 10 miles an hour. Here's a look tonight down to 71 in Champaign and in Monticello. We'll be at 73 in Paxton. I've got 73 in Springfield, 75 in Taylorville, Shelbyville down to 71. We'll be down to 71 in Arcola and in Charleston, 71 in Paris. On our Sunday then look for our temperatures to climb fairly quickly again though as we go through the day the chance for rain and storms will increase. Could have a few showers as early as the morning hours. Seems like the better chances come as the later we go the chance continues to rise especially into Sunday afternoon, Sunday night and Monday morning. Still though I've got highs into the upper 80s out there. That evening front will slowly push on through bringing showers and storms beyond Sunday and Sunday night into the region with south and west winds at 5 to 10 miles an hour. We'll be up to 87 in Champaign and Paxton, 89 in Monticello. I'll have us to 89 in Springfield and in Taylorville, 89 in Decatur. Some of us may try to get close to 90. I think we may be just shy there in Charleston at 88, 89 in Greenup and in Paris. Heat index value is still a factor tomorrow. It will feel more like the mid to upper 90s, but not nearly as hot as it has. The moisture actually has been slowly dropping here over the region, and it really does so once that cold front passes through. That's going to bring in drier air by the middle of this upcoming week. We'll pay for it, though, with some rain chances on the seven-day forecast. Here's future tracks showing. Sunday morning, a few scattered showers out there. Those could be possible. We think, though, the better chance comes Sunday afternoon into Sunday night as that cold front slowly pushes on through. We'll watch and see here. We're calling it scattered, and we'll continue to watch it. Maybe become more numerous into the overnight hours. will depend on how that front goes. The good news, I think, overall, the severe threat is very low. Not zero. We'll watch. Better ingredients seem to be just to our north in northeast. We'll look to see if the SBC adjusts their outlook for severe weather for Sunday and have those updates. So here's that cold front and it's marching on this way. It will slowly push through and stall out into the region, likely stalling out down by Interstate 70 as we go into Monday during the day. We'll watch and see if it doesn't lift a little more north and keep those rain chances. I think areas north of Interstate 74 may have a lesser chance of rain throughout the period, but more than likely, I think most of us will get at least rain and storms in our neighborhood Tuesday. That's my wettest day here until we can get that area of low pressure, which is the remnants of Ida out of here and that will happen with due time that should dry us out then as we go into Wednesday and Thursday as drier and cooler air wraps around I'm also thinking Friday looks dry though those chances for rain may start to come up into the weekend most of the rain we see here on future track does come over the next couple of days through Tuesday uh, Tuesday night I should say half inch to an inch some spots will see less some spots may miss out but a couple of spots could see more than that locally I think the better chance of that will be down by Interstate 70. Let's check into the tropics real quick here's Hurricane Ida continuing to strengthen really getting an ominous sign to it here now winds at 105 miles an hour as of the six o'clock hour moving to the north and west still expected to strengthen to a category four hurricane before making landfall very close to New Orleans. It may be close enough where New Orleans gets the eye wall of it, which could be very impactful for that region. Locally here in central Illinois, the storm will curve to the south and east of us pretty quickly. And that will keep us on the drier side, but it does at least hold up that cold front for us as we go into Monday and Tuesday before dragging it away from us and helping to usher in drier air for Wednesday. Get more thoughts on the weather on my Weather Now video. Uh, you're watching that now. I should say the 7-day forecast or the Weather Now article or catch my forecast throughout the weekend. Take care.